What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of Pompey Youth Stars. Uh, just before I get started, I want to say don't forget the Scouting God Contest this month is on fastest players age 20 or under. Uh, all the details for submitting uh, your entries to that will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I also want to let you guys know that I'm working on tons of exciting stuff for the website. Uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, a new series of guides soon. Uh, working on doing a weekly email as well to keep you all informed that I have some uh, exclusive content in that as well. I'm also working on something really, really super exciting. Uh, don't want to tell you about it just yet, but I'm working on it still, so I really can't wait to let you guys know about that. Hopefully it's going to be launching soon uh, on the website. Also, thanks so much for all your suggestions about um, Pompey Youth Stars. Um, I think I'm going to be simming most games this season and uh, just playing the important ones. Uh, I've had quite a lot of suggestions about doing that in the comments. Uh, I want to try and see if I can get um, promoted to the Premiership quickly. Obviously, I can't guarantee that that's going to happen, uh, but it's going to be great when we get to the Premier League. So I want to get through the season quickly and uh, see if we can get promoted. But like I said, I will be playing important games. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got a huge amount of time uh, right now today to uh, play loads of games because I'm going to be super busy this week on all kinds of different things. Uh, so I'm going to be simming today, but it means that we can get through games quickly, hopefully get in two scouting reports if possible. Uh, so I'll be uploading this as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so thanks for all your comments and all your suggestions. I've really been taking them on board, uh, really trying to improve as much as I possibly can. So please do keep doing that. So on with this episode, we have a uh, Capital One Cup game against Brighton early on in the season, so we want to make sure we get a good start to the competition, uh, see if we can get a win early on. And yes, we do. We get a 1-0 win, Abdel Hamid scoring in the 83rd minute, so we left it late, but we got the win, and we march on in the Cup. So I don't really have a huge amount of business to do on deadline day. I'm pretty happy with the squad I've got at the moment. Tons and tons of youth players, so we're going to focus on them from now on, I think. So we now hit the first of the month and that means players are growing so let's have a look at who we've got. We have uh, Doherty at one point to 76, he's finally grown. I was really concerned because he wasn't growing for absolutely ages but he's gone up a point which is really good to see. Now my best player. Uh, the other goalkeeper David Brown up two points to 65, that's really good to see as well. Looking really well rounded in the goalkeeping stats. We've got Liam Osborne, hasn't grown yet but he's sh showing some good stat growth so he should go up pretty soon I reckon. Uh, Paddy Molloy up two points to 58, looking quite decent. Uh, pretty slow as usual, but he's got half decent strength at least. Uh, Americ Bovager at 1.63. Then we have Joe Hayes. Uh, like Osborne, hasn't actually grown a point yet, but he's got some stat growth, so he'll get there soon. Uh, Brad Knight, again, hasn't grown very much, but he has decent potential, so I'm not too concerned about him. Uh, Mohamed Sobi up 1.66. Really nice growth all around physical stats as well, which is good to see. Uh, Dylan Quinton up two points now to 69. 82 short passing, that's just amazing. Uh, James Smith has now grown to 61 as well. Uh, Frederick Mathis hasn't grown yet, but his mental stats are going up. Hopefully his technical stats will as well soon. Uh, then we have Andrew Robson up 2 points to 62. Looking pretty good now. 71 finishings, very nice to see. Uh, Darren Pollitt, 75. Uh, been that way for a little while, but look at some of those stats. 95 ball control, that's madness. Such an amazing player. Uh, Kelvin Bong hasn't grown yet, uh, but I've got no doubt that he will soon, and he's such an effective player up front. Uh, then we have Yuri Lodigan up 2 points to 64. Uh, look at those physical stats. Sprint speed up 3 to 84. That's fantastic. Really good winger now. Uh, Michael Pender up to 69. I'm using him in central midfield quite a lot because he's pretty slow but got really good technical stats. Uh, then Abdel Hamid scored in the last game, scored the winner. Uh, 64 overall now at one point. Then Grassi up to 63. And uh, then we are on to our real players. We only have four real players in the squad. So that shows how well we have done uh, in changing, uh, sort of transitioning into a youth squad. Really good to see. Then for our loaned out players, uh, Curtis Simpson up to 50. Physical stats growing nicely, which is what we expected to see, which is good. Uh, Pimentel hasn't grown at all. It's a little bit depressing, really. Uh, Paulo Daniel up to 62. And uh, that's it for our players. So some really nice growth overall there. And uh, most players are now growing. So quickly moving on to the next game. And we have Wigan in the championship. Had to uh, change loads of players in the squad because it was quite soon after the last match. Loads of players were tired. Uh, haven't got much stamina at the moment. So hopefully we can uh, still get a good result. And we get a draw. That's not a bad result. Wigan are a good team and we had to change the team a lot. Uh, so one or draw is not bad at all. So we have this uh, scouting update from Murfin uh, looking in the Netherlands and we have Henrico Pereira 57 to 79 turn him down uh, Martin De Witt 68 to 88 still looking pretty decent so I think I will sign that player uh, Rende Engerberink 
62 to 80, not looking quite as good, so I'll turn that player down. Uh, Sander Wijnaldum, 58 to 80, turning him down as well. And then CM Verhey, I think Verhey, something like that, uh, 64 to 86. Um, I think I'm going to leave him for one more month just to see how he does. So we'll scout him for one more month. And we also have this message here from Alex Winter asking if we can increase his wages. Really quite important player, even though he's a real player, not a scouted player. He's one of my best defenders, so I want to keep hold of him. So we'll go and sort that out now. So Alex Winter is on £2,000 at the moment. He wants his wages bumped up to 6000 We have got a pretty huge wage budget at the moment, so I don't mind doing that if it will mean that we can keep hold of him. So I'll do that and uh, let's hope that he accepts. Right, great news, he has accepted, so he'll be sticking around for a bit longer and he should be quite happy with that salary. So next up we have Millwall in the league. Hopefully we're going to win this game because they're not uh, promotion contenders with us at the moment, but it is an away game, so those are always tough when you're simming. And yeah, as we can see, we lost 2-1. They got their win in the 84th minute, pretty disappointing, but not too surprising because it was an away game. So this is a tough game. We have Derby. Uh, they are only one point above us one place they're fourth we are fifth so uh, this should be quite a tough game uh, as opposed to the Millwall game even though we actually managed to lose that game so uh, just shows you what a difficult league it is that we're playing in and we draw one all so all things considered that's not too bad although Sobby did get a red card uh, that's not a great result but one all not too bad against Derby County so two scanning reports in one go first up we have Lee in Canada and we have Carl Atacora uh, 59 to 79 turning that player down definitely Carl Ferguson 59 to 83 again not good enough uh, then finally Marcus Haino 65 to 79 scouted him for three months now and I don't think that is high enough potential so I'll reject him as well uh, so no one from Canada on that report but we have Demidov in England and we have Carlton Palmer 63 to 85 uh, usually when I get a potential like that sort of range um, I usually scout them for one more month just to be sure so I'm gonna do that with this player uh, then we have Christian McNulty 58 to 80 definitely not high enough uh, then Joe King, uh, great name, Joe King, with a potential like that you've got to be joking, 62 to 82, turning him down, so apart from the great name, nothing really going for him I'm afraid, and then finally Keaton Nichols, scouted him for two months and he's at 65 for 83, um, probably will, I think I will sign him because he could be a striker and we haven't really got very many good strikers, we have some centre forwards but no out and out strikers, so I will sign him up, his potential could be okay. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. So we'll look at Carlton Palmer for one more month. So directly after the scouting reports, we have a Capital One Cup game against Bolton. Uh, it's at home, so we stand a bit of a decent chance, but they are a very good team. Uh, so I've got no idea how we're going to do. Bad start, but uh, yeah, we lose 2-1. Uh, it did go to extra time, and they scored in the last minute of extra time. So that means we're out of the Capital One Cup, which is pretty disappointing, to be honest. But it does mean that we can concentrate on the league, at least, and uh, still aim for a high finish in the league. So the next match is against Huddersfield and we want to win to put an end to this uh, bad form. They are only one place behind us so we need to keep winning to keep pushing for promotion as well. Uh, but we draw one all, at least we didn't lose, uh, but it's not an amazing result but at least it ends our losing streak. Moving swiftly on we have this match against Wolves in the championship. We really need to put an end to this bad run of form. We are sliding down the table and we're at risk of moving out of the promotion places altogether. Uh, so we get a win, that's not a bad result at all, Paulette gets a goal, Penda is injured though unfortunately, uh, but it is only for 7 days luckily, uh, I was a bit worried when I saw that, but it's only 7 days, so that's important, we got a good win there uh, to end this run of bad form. So we've hit the first of the month again, so it's time to look at the squad and see how they're growing. Doherty is still on 76 points, uh, but Brown is now up 3 points to 66, only halfway through the season, in fact not even that far through, and already he has grown six, uh, 3 points up to 66, that is fantastic, he's going to be a really good player if he keeps growing like this. Uh, then we have Osborne, 63, and uh, Boverger is now 64, nice bit of growth there, so he's doing quite well. Uh, Paddy Malloy, 58, uh, Joe Hayes still hasn't grown a point. Uh, still waiting for that to happen. Hopefully it'll happen soon. Uh, Brad Knight also still stuck on 64. Uh, Sobby is 66. Some nice growth all around there. And Dylan Quinton, 69. Uh, once again, looking absolutely amazing. Uh, Frederick Mathis, uh, once again, hasn't grown. Uh, still on 61. Uh, but James Smith is on 61 as well. Uh, looking okay going forward as an attacker. Uh, Andrew Robson, 62. Uh, 
developing quite nicely as a striker, uh, more of a more of a striker than a centre forward really, with that really good finishing and shot power. Uh, then we have Paulet up to 76, uh, amazing, doubling is up to almost 90 now, and he's getting a really powerful shot as well, so hopefully he'll score some goals from distance for us. Uh, Kelvin Bong still stuck on 69, but as I said before, such an effective striker that it's not too important. Uh, then we have Lodigan on 64, uh, super fast now, what an amazing winger he is. Uh, Michael Pender on 69, uh, looking good as an attacker and also uh, a wide midfielder if need be. And uh, Abdel Hamid is on to 64. Uh, we have Garassi now gone up to 64 as well, fantastic dribbling and ball control, going to be really difficult to stop him going forward. Uh, then we're on to the uh, real players, a um, little bit of growth between them, but then we're back to our uh, scouted players, these, these ones out on loan. Pickford not growing a huge amount, uh, Curtis Simpson still on 50 as before. And let's just scroll through, we have Paulo Daniel on 63, some decent growth there for the winger, and then back to the start. So we have, uh, once again, some good growth for our players. Decent growth from all our players really, uh, especially uh, that fantastic growth from David Brown, plus 3 points to 66, but all of our players looking pretty decent. So now we have a match against Leicester City in the Championship, obviously former Premiership opposition and we are away as well so it should be quite a tough nut to crack and we get a 0-0 draw which uh, isn't too bad considering the circumstances. So a few messages here, first of all we have this scouting update from Murfin in the Netherlands, uh, Siem Verhey. Uh, how, however you say his name, he's gone down to 63 to 81, so I don't think that's good enough, so we will turn that player down. And then Thomas Biker, Thomas Baker, I'm not really sure how to say that, but it's 53 to 75, so it doesn't matter, so we're going to turn that player down as well. We've got a few players leaving on international duty, Paul and Doherty to Scotland and uh, Sobby to Egypt, so they won't be available for about a week in October. Then also, uh, speaking of Sobby, he wants a increase in his wages. So again, uh, like Winter, an important player, one of my best midfielders. So I want to keep hold of him. So uh, let's go have a look at his wages now. So looking at that demand, that's pretty reasonable. Not too bad at all. His wages are £3,000 at the moment, but he wants them up to 4000 So uh, don't mind doing that at all if it means he'll stay. So we'll do that and hopefully he will accept. But before we can find out about that, we have this match against Charlton in the Championship. Had to make a few changes, obviously because of those players going out on international duty, uh, but we still have a fairly strong lineup, and uh, we should really get a win here against Charlton. And yes, we do 2-1. Garassi and Bong getting the goals, so we're back to winning ways. Right, great news. Uh, Mohamed Sobi has accepted our contract. Pretty confident he would. It wasn't much of a change, uh, so that's already good to see. He's now happy with his wages. Moving swiftly on to the next game, we have Oldham in the Championship. We are away, but we've got a lot of players in good form after that uh, that good win against Charlton in the last match. And we win this one 2-1 as well. Garassi getting the winning goal in the 89th minute, really good timing there. So another good win, we're moving back up the table. So once again, we have our two scouting reports at once. We have the first one from Lee in Canada. And we have Andre Atacora, 49-69, definitely turning that player down, not very good at all. Uh, Anthony Carducci, 50 to 17, not much better. Also reject him. Caleb Morgan, 54 to 76, again, pretty poor there. Uh, Michael Adekugby, 47 to 65. What am I doing wrong here? Why am I getting such bad players? Uh, finally, we have this guy's brother, Patrice Adekugby, 62 to 84, not really that great. Um, you know, I think I might scout him for another month just to see, but it doesn't look particularly great. But I kind of want something out of this, so we'll scout him for one more month. And then we have Demidov uh, in England. Carlton Palmer has now gone down to 62 to 80, so I don't think I'll be taking him on. Uh, so then we have Harry Benning, 56 to 78. Nope. And Sammy Dunn, 58 to 80, turning him down as well. So that was a pretty poor month for scouting, to be honest. One player to look at, but he's not really anything really special, unfortunately. So this is going to be a tough game. We have Fulham in the Championship. They are topped by five points. A uh, few places above us, but five points clear. So uh, they're doing really well, and um, I'm honestly not expecting to win this game because we are away as well. And yet we lose 1-0. So it uh, could have been worse, I guess, but I was kind of expecting for a tough game there. So final game of the month against Ipswich Town in the Championship. Um, let's try and put that bad memory of the game against Fulham behind us and see if we can get straight back to a nice win. Uh, no, we can't. We end up drawing. Uh, Pender gets the goal, so one all draw. Um, really not an amazing result, but you know, we didn't lose at least. So I'll just finish off this episode with another look at our player growth because we're on the first of the month again. So we managed to get quite a lot of these in this episode. Uh, so we have Doherty still on 76, but still obviously absolutely amazing. 
Uh, David Brown, 66. Uh, very good uh, young player there. Uh, Liam Osborne has finally grown a point, now on 63 at 17 years old. Uh, Paddy Malloy has grown another point up to 59. Looks like he's got a very decent potential. Uh, you can't actually see his potential at the moment because uh, his overall is less than 60. Potential statuses such as showing great potential, that kind of thing, they only apply once you get to 60 overall. So hopefully, hopefully he'll get to that soon and we can see what his potential is. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, then we have Boverger on 64. Uh, Brad Knight still hasn't grown a point. Still lagging behind a bit there. Uh, Joe Hayes again hasn't grown a point. Uh, some half decent stat growth though. Uh, Dylan Quinton up to 69. Uh, then we have Sobby has grown another point. He is now 67, looking like a real anchor in the middle of midfield. A very, very important player to the team. Uh, then Frederick Mathis up to 62 has finally grown, even though it's only in mental stat growth, which is a little bit annoying. Hopefully, his technical stats will grow soon. Uh, James Smith on 61. Then we have Robson up to 63, uh, growing quite a decent amount now, three points already this season. Uh, then Paulette is on 76 with uh, two points of growth. And then Bong has finally grown. He is now on 70 overall, looking really good young player. Same overall and age as uh, Zwinkles, funnily enough. So uh, the similarities continue between those two. Uh, then we have Lodigan up another point to 65 overall. Uh, Pender has grown as well. He is now uh, 70 overall. I imagine he might be a bit higher if I put him in central midfield as well, which I often do because uh, he's not very quick, but he has fantastic technical stats. Then we're up to Abdel Hamid, who's now on 65. Another good grower. Uh, he's doing very well. And uh, Garassi doing even better, uh, growing three points now onto 65. Very competent looking attacker. Uh, then we're on to the real players again. Uh, not a huge amount of growth between them, but we are on to the uh, loaned out players. Hickford still not really growing, pretty disappointing to be honest. Uh, but Simpson has grown another point, he's now on 51. Uh, so those physical stats still growing okay. Not very good at the moment, but hopefully in a bit of uh, bit of time he'll get there. Then we have P Pimentel hasn't grown a single stat. Once again, very disappointing this player. I may end up selling him because he's just not growing for me at all. Uh, but on the other hand, we have Polo Daniel. He is growing okay, now up to 63 uh, as a left winger. And uh, then we're back up to the start. So that's how our players have grown uh, in this final month for this episode. So here is an update on the league table. We're in fourth position. Really good for a first season in the championship on 23 points. Apart from Fulham at the top, it's looking pretty close. Uh, only three points between uh, third place and eighth. So a huge amount of change could happen with one bad resu result. So we've always got to keep performing. Uh, looks like Fulham are going to win the league. They're running away with it already. Uh, but that's how we're doing. We're doing pretty well, uh, like I said, in this first season in the championship. Okay, here's a really quick look at the players in our youth academy. We have Danny Corrie, 75 to 81 potential, physically strong, looking really decent, uh, probably going to be a centre-back. Uh, Keaton Nichols, 68 to 80, going to be a central midfielder, I expect. Uh, then Levesque Goncalves, 70 to 74, going to be a fullback. Doesn't look amazing, but we'll have to see how he turns out. Looks like he's going to be a defensive-minded fullback rather than a fast one, which is kind of annoying, really. Uh, then Martin DeWitt. 70 to 80 to 82, sorry, looking pretty decent. Probably going to be a winger, I reckon. Uh, then Michael Coyne, 74 to 80, physically strong striker. That's going to be incredible. Can't wait to see how he turns out. And finally, the man, the legend, Shuttleworth for Tannen. 71 to 75, pretty much purely keeping him because of his name. Uh, but hopefully he turns out to be quite good as well. So that's how our youth players are looking at the moment. So that's where I'm going to leave it today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Keep all your comments coming. Like I said at the start, I'm always trying to improve, always taking your comments on board and all your suggestions. Um, if you want to enter the Scouting God contest, this month is on fastest players aged 20 or below. They have to be scouted players and they have to be, uh, like I said, 20 years old or younger. Uh, so if you found a good player that matches that description, make sure you take a picture of them. Uh, they can be in the academy or they can be uh, promoted as long as they're under 20 years old. Uh, send that over to at FIFA Scouting on Twitter using the hashtag Scouting God. Or you can sub submit it to my uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips. You could leave a link to the image in the uh, comments below, or you could even leave it on FIFA Scouting Tips.com uh, in a post there in the comments. However you want to do it, that ends at the end of the month, so make sure you get going on that quickly. Uh, like I said earlier, I am working on tons of stuff for the website, uh, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, I will provide lots of updates whenever I get something done for that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching again. Keep all your comments coming. And uh, please leave a like as well if you enjoyed this video and uh, cheers for watching.